Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and today I have a review for a film from 2004, and it's a Japanese film entitled Cass Hearn. Uh, this is um, a film that if you have watched my videos, you might have seen that I picked this up a couple months ago at Fry's, and um, I didn't know anything about it when I bought it, and you know, it sat there for a while, which you know, that happens with a lot of films. And um, I finally sat down this past weekend and checked this out. And um, this is one that is extremely hard to describe. It's a very strange film. It's one of those ones that you need to experience more than try to explain it to people, I think. Uh, but ultimately, it is the Japanese version of an apocalyptic film, I guess you could say, in a sci-fi fantasy type world. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and read you the synopsis here on the back to give you an idea of what this is exactly about. It says, set in the late 21st century, Earth is in crisis and the future of mankind is at risk. Hope lies in a geneticist discovery of Neocell, which can rejuvenate the human body but it is used by an evil corporation to create a race of mutants bent on the annihilation of humanity. And in a nutshell, yeah, that is what it's about. Um, you know, this film is very visual. I mean, the visuals in this are striking right away. I mean, very striking visuals in this. And, you know, some may watch this and say, oh, that, you know, it looks kind of cheap. And... It does by, you know, today's standards. Um, you know, I, I could see that uh, in a way. But the way they shot it and just the way they made the overall look of the film, it still works and it's still a beautiful film. Um, but yeah, it's definitely CG heavy. Um, you know, there's some animation in this, you know, green screen, of course. Uh, just all kinds of stuff that happens in this and just with the look of it. Uh, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's a very, um, it's just a surreal, one of those surreal, bizarre type films, you know, and, um, it says a lot about, uh, you know, corporations and, you know, messing with, uh, human nature, you know, the, the, the whole cautionary tale type deal with that type of stuff, um, but you know these nano cell things that are in this corporation. You know they want to they want to be able to fix humans that are you know are hurting war or whatever. And uh, but the, the really cool part though, you know where they're showing these nano cells. It's like this big huge like pit of like this red fluid and this lightning strikes it and it and it forms all these cells together or all these parts together and creates these what they call nano sapiens. Um, and that's what the, the evil corporation in the film tries to use to eliminate humanity. Um, because at the beginning, you know, it talks about this 50-year war that was going on between the Federation and Europa. Well, the, the Federation won. And all of the, uh, the, the resistance, the uprising, was in this place called Zone 7. And these are just, you know, regular everyday citizens that are trying to fight against the corporation. But they're looked at as terrorists. So this corporation uses these Neo Sapiens to try to um, rid the world of everybody in Zone Seven. Um, but this this guy in it, uh, Tet Tet Tetsuya, uh, he's he's um, he's uh, he's trying to marry. Or he wants to marry his his girlfriend Luna, and um, yeah, it's just it's hard to say too much about the Tetsuya character without ruining things. I definitely don't want to spoil anything with this film. But guys, I'll just say this is a very unique film. I can't say I've seen a film quite like this before. Um, and the music in it is fantastic. Just fantastic music. I mean, it has, you know, there, there's some scenes in this with a lot of karate, kung fu type stuff that happens. And, you know, it's a real action sound. And then there's some real beautiful and surreal scenes that have a classical score to it uh this film just has a lot in it guys just a whole lot of stuff going on for it and uh you know if you're the adventurous type you know that likes films that are a little bit out there that are a little bit surreal that are sci-fi that are fantasy um that just 
that makes you think about a lot of things. And this is a type of film, you know, even only seeing it once, um, I can tell it's the type that you could get a lot out of with repeat viewings. I mean, it's just a lot to take in, uh, you know, watching it just one time. Uh, and it's it's certainly a film I'm going to watch again. I mean, I, I really enjoyed this film a lot, guys. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend it. Uh, I guess it's loosely based on um, an anime, uh, uh, cartoon anime from Japan that was out in the 70s, I believe it was. Um, but yeah, it's loosely based on that. And, um, yeah, it originally came out in Japan in 2004. I don't think, yeah, it didn't come out here until 2007. And the thing is, the United States version is 120 minutes and the Japanese version is 140 minutes. Uh, I, I would really like to see the Japanese version of this, but I don't know if there even is a copy of it out there. You know, because this this film is subtitled, so I don't know if there's even one out there that's subtitled for the U.S. of the full version. And from the little bit I've looked around online, apparently uh, the dialogue in this is butchered. A lot of fans of the original film complain a lot, uh, you know, about the dialogue. And there were times where it looked like they were saying a lot, but it would only be like one sentence on the screen. And I guess a lot of that, you know, that deeper knowledge of what they're saying, what they're trying to convey, uh, doesn't really come out on this version because of it being so poorly subtitled. So I don't know, but I mean, regardless, I, I still really enjoyed the film and, you know, was able to understand it and everything that was going on, you know, with, I guess you could say with what was presented because I don't know exactly what they were saying, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, guys, it's a really good film. I'm sure you can pick this up for cheap. I think I only paid $5 for this. I might have paid 10 but I mean, you can get it for really cheap. Um, but it's definitely worth checking out, guys. It, it's, a, it's a really fun, engaging film um, that I, I'm really looking forward to checking out again. So, guys, that is Cass Hearn. It is out now. It's been out for a while. And I am Jason. You've been watching Beyond the Realms, guys. Have a good one. Later.